This former police officer and bodybuilder turned in her badge to pursue a career in showbiz. And in a short time, a short amount of time, she's now roles in, in the Star Wars universe on The Mandalorian and the Marvel Universe and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Yeah, just a few small shows, right? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, really. Amazing. All right, well, later this year, she will star alongside Kristen Stewart in the film Love, Lives, Bleeding. So please give it up for Katie O'Brien. Good morning, Katie. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> good, good. So uh, from what I understand, you're you're kind of into that last workout that we were just showing. I know you're a bodybuilder. Would that yeah. help? I mean, would you you'd be willing to take part in that? <laughs> I mean, listen, you know, I uh, my great aunt does Zumba, and she's 96 years old. Exactly. So. I, I hear you. I've, I've gone to a class with her. She's shown me up. It's it's great. I love it. Uh, you know what? Okay. I think we need to call the mayor or the <laughs> president because this week should be renamed Katie O'Brien Week. Yes, right. Because your movie Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, was released on digital on Tuesday. And, and the season finale of The Mandalorian debuted yesterday. Yeah. So nice. much going on with you in it. What's it like to be a part of two incredibly popular, popular franchises? It's just, it's really fun. It's, um, you know, it's a cool fan base. They're very interactive, so that's a fun part of it. It's uh, an amazing world. So, um, you know, I grew up with Marvel. That was, like, yeah. my jam when I was a kid. Um, I wasn't, like, really into Star Wars, but my brother was. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, as I started to get into the into Mandalorian, I was like, okay, let me just start from scratch. And right. now I really love it. So, yeah it's just great. it's it's an honor and it's a pleasure and it's yeah it's weird that it's my life ah, <laughs> yeah, so it's let's start. Awesome. spoiler alert time for everybody who's watching okay because if you haven't seen the season three finale of mandalorian people are now responding to the ending calling it a happy ending katie right without the usual cliffhanger so without giving too much away your thoughts here on the on the finale um, I'm not gonna lie, I teared up a little bit Aww. there when, uh, I don't want to give too much away, when Grogu did his thing and, you know, saved his mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's what I call them. But, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought it was great. I was just, the, the last two episodes, I thought, I mean, Rick just killed it, um, you know, Dave and John wrote it. I, they, I, it's, yeah, it's so good. Have so you good. read any of the chatter online, people talking about it? Uh... Here and there. I mean, if somebody like directly posts to me, I read yeah. stuff, but I don't search for things just because I feel like that's uh You don't want to go there. find upsetting information, yes. Yeah. yeah. No, really. we know how we know how that can be. Uh, so for those who aren't completely familiar, talk about your, your character on on the series and what it's like to be part of the Star Wars universe. Well, uh, in season two I was a uh, communications officer for the Empire, just chilling in the background, saying some stuff, blowing things up. Um, <laughs> and for this last season they, uh, they're kind of introducing the New Republic and um, kind of the, the troubles that they're having and my character is certainly not helping. So I'm, I'm supposed to be a reformed amnesty officer for hmm. the New Republic. Yeah. And I might not be as reformed as hmm. I see. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. And then on the flip side of things, you know, because we said you're busy, Quantumania, right? So who do you play in, in the film? What's it like to be uh, on the set there? Because your character is part of, I guess, another world, right? Yes. We're in the quantum realm, which is, uh, it, it doesn't have anything to do with space or time. It's like outside the realm of space or time, which is kind of relevant for, um, you know, this new big baddie, Kang the Conqueror, mm. who... And travel through time. So my character's name is Jin Tora. Um, she is in the comic books originally, but she's green, she's blonde, she's like magic. They, they kind of changed the character, um, well, a lot. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> now I'm just kind of uh, the leader of a rebellion in the quantum realm. I mean, looking at your life now, everything that you're involved in, it must be a little bit surreal for you because you used to be a police officer, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. what, how did that come about that you went into acting? I always wanted to do it. Um, I just, I never thought that that would be a stable career. And I feel like, you know, coming from the Midwest, that's like what you're supposed to do is pursue a stable career. So uh, my end game was originally psychology. Um, yeah. I have my bachelor's degree in that. I was thinking about going back either for my PhD or my MD to do psychiatry or something. And then I was like, you know what, while I'm still youngish, um, <laughs> why don't I? actually give a shot to what I really, really want to do, and I did, and 
I'm, I'm grateful for that. Amazing, yeah. That's amazing. Great. And we mentioned at the top that you were you used to be a bodybuilder. Uh, as well, a competitive bodybuilder, which is actually a perfect segue to your next film, Perfect Casting here, because it's about uh, bodybuilding. Tell us about Love Lies Bleeding. Yeah, I uh, I did compete. I was like, I was more of a, it was like a hobby. Um, I was never amazing at it. You'll definitely see people that are um, unbelievable, but uh, I still, you know, I love doing the workouts. I still love that. And so when I found the uh, casting notice for Love Lies Bleeding, um, I was just like, it's about a female bodybuilder who Man. goes to a small town who falls in love. I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I relate to so many parts of this story. Yeah. Um, so I auditioned for it and it, it was the first time I think, uh, I was like, okay, this, I, I don't know who else this part could go to. Right. Um, unless it's like, you know, someone who's relatively unknown or something or mm. in a completely different. Look at her in these photos. Yes. That's what I aspire but, to be. Uh -huh. It'll never happen. <laughs> But you know, but yeah, it's the, <laughs> the magic of television. Maybe I could, I don't know, they could morph me. Uh, Katie, oh, yeah. there's things to be done. <laughs> Katie, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for getting up early, too. Yeah, appreciate um, it. <laughs> no right. problem. And as we mentioned, the complete season of The Mandalorian is streaming on Disney, and the special release of Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania is now available on digital.